So a truck on a straight road starts from rest and accelerates at 5 meters per second. 5.0 meters per second squared until it reaches a velocity of 50 meters per second. Then the truck travels for 100 seconds. Okay, and say time two because we can already tell this is going to be broken into a into a couple of a uh, couple of chunks. So we don't know how long it takes first. We don't know our first delta time. How long it takes to accelerate up to uh, 50 meters per second? Oh, it starts from rest. You're right, but uh, we and we know our initial velocity is zero. Okay, 100 seconds. At a constant velocity until the brakes are applied, stopping the truck in a uniform manner, an additional 15 seconds. So our third time is 15 seconds, and our final velocity in that section is zero, but our initial velocity is the 50 from the first part. Okay? So how long is the truck in motion, and what is the total displacement of the truck? Okay, so the only time we don't know is this one right up here, because if we're calculating our total time it's going to be t1 plus delta t2 plus delta t3 yeah so we need to find out this delta time to start with and the easiest way is going to be our delta v equals a delta t we started at zero so our delta time is just going to be 50 minus zero so 50 regardless of my poor handwriting 50 meters per second equals our acceleration which is 5 meters per second squared multiplied by our time. By both sides by 5. Delta T1 is 10 seconds. So we can go ahead and plug that in. 10 seconds plus 100 seconds plus another 15 seconds equals 125 seconds. Okay. Feel free to check my arithmetic. All right, so 125 seconds. Now, what is the total displacement of the truck? Our total x is again going to be x1 plus x2 plus x3. Now, how do I know that? I can already hear that. It's just the total is just we add up everything. That's it. That's all there is to it. So. What we do, we need to find out our delta x's. We aren't given any of them, so we need to find them out. The first one, we're given our initial velocity, final velocity, a, and we need to solve for our delta t, or we need to solve for our delta x. There's a couple ways we can do that, but this one seems the most straightforward, so let's just go ahead and do it. x1 equals v0 delta t plus 1 half delta v delta t. Okay. Now, initial velocity is zero, so that term is just zero. And then the rest is one half multiplied by delta v, which is 50, multiplied by our time, which is 10. So 50 times 10 is 500, one half of that is 250. 250 meters, delta x1. Okay, delta x2 is v, multiplied by delta t because we already know how fast we're moving at the beginning of section two so we can just plug that in 50 meters per second multiplied by 100 seconds okay and that gives us a delta x2 of 5,000 meters might have to, might have to move this a little bit. you know what I'm gonna go ahead and erase this chunk right here Okay. Now for delta x3, we got to do the same thing as we did before. Okay. Uh, well, actually, we could do a couple things. You know what? Let's go ahead and use the other, use one more different equation. So we have our vf squared equals vi squared plus 2a multiplied by x. Do we know our do we know our acceleration in the last one? We don't. So we don't know our a. We don't know our x. Actually, we can't use that one. Okay. Let's try again. All right. So we'll just use the same one over. 
delta x equals v0 delta t plus 1 half delta v delta t. We know our delta v is from 50 to 0, so negative 50. Our initial velocity in this section is 50 multiplied by 15 seconds plus 1 half negative 50 multiplied by 15 seconds. So 50 times 15 is 750 plus half, so negative half of that, or 375. And so our delta x3 is 375 meters. Either way. So now we know our delta x's for all three sections. And we can just go ahead and plug those in to find out our delta x total, which is 250 plus 5,000 plus 375. 375 plus 5,000 plus 250. Oh, arithmetic errors. See, I make them too. 5,000. 625 meters. Okay, so we have our two answers. A total. Anyway, so yeah, 5,625 meters. That is how. That's how long we're gonna. How long the truck drives for is 125 seconds, and then the uh, truck travels a total of 5,625 meters. I'm gonna give you a quick close up so that you guys can write. Okay, well, thanks for stopping by, Crazy Don Don. Uh, hope to see you back on Thursday. Okay. Yeah.